just kind of go over some stuff. Okay, so optional featured technique, adding color to wood stickers with markers. And it says here materials needed along with the kit are the coral tri-blend marker, the gold yellow tri-blend marker, and the true blue shades tri-blend marker. And then 3D thin foam, pewter journaling pen, adhesive scissors, paper trimmer, and ruler. And so here is all the cutting. And I guess, you know, we could, let's see. So we're going to use White Daisy for the third card base, so I'm going to set the White Daisy aside. And then we're going to use the Plaid for Project 2. So here's the plaid. So that's going to get set aside. And then <clears throat> I'll hold project one and I think I'll cut You don't have to do this, I just, I'm trying to keep various pieces together. So here's project one, there's project one, and here's project two. And here's also project two. Okay, project two's together, and then here's project three and project three, and I'm gonna put those with the white background. Set the stickers aside for right now. Okay, and these are the zip strips that we're going to use. So we've got a white daisy. Okay, two dots. Two dots to cut. And then a sweater to cut and a mink to cut. And then we've got Two harbors, so this is, this is what we have to cut here, and I'm going to take this background, take these stickers and put them with the other stickers, and I'm going to take these two and put them over here, set those aside. <clears throat> okay. 
They'll take the zip strips off. So these are the half inch cuts. And I'm going to cut, these are two strips that are half inch. So one and two and then a box that is nine and a fourth. By nine and a fourth. Okay, these two strips are going to get cut down to be six and a fourth and three and a fourth. So that's, now these are for one and this is for two. And the same thing here, six and a fourth, and three and a fourth. And those both go with number one. Okay, so this other dotted pattern is going to be also, I'm going to take the zip off of it and set it aside over here, and the stripes are going to go this way. I don't know that it makes a difference. And this is going to be nine and a half. Doesn't really make a difference because it's a square. Nine and a half by nine and a half. And that goes with two. And then we've got our sweater. Okay, so that looks like the orientation goes this way for cutting. The trees are on their side, so we're going to do a strip that is four and a half. Four and a half by eleven. <clears throat> so I'm just cutting one inch off at the end. I'm just putting all my scraps up there. So there we've got a, a sweater strip, and it goes for number three. Okay, this is a really big piece left over. That's always good. Go put all these together. And then we want the mink. So I'm gonna use the light and we're gonna do these all go to the third layout, so that makes it pretty simple. Okay, so the first is four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. And I'm gonna do another four and a quarter. And then this one is going to be three and a quarter. So 
So that's a quarter of an inch strip left over. Okay, so now I'm going to rotate these pieces and cut them six and a fourth. and three and a fourth. So six and a fourth. By three and a fourth. And then the thin piece is just going to be cut. It was cut originally at three and a quarter. This is going to be four and a quarter. And then we've got shortbread, which wouldn't be nice to have a piece of shortbread right now. Okay, so we're going to use, yeah, the darker color. And this is going to be three and a quarter. Strip of three and a quarter, and then four and a quarter. and four and a quarter, so that's probably going to be another quarter of an inch left. Okay, and <clears throat> first piece we're going to take it and rotate it and do four and a quarter. So this is for number one, project one, and then we're doing three and a quarter and three and a quarter. See, I love how they have everything so nicely planned out. <clears throat> so you really maximize how much card and paper stock you're using and you're not wasting. <clears throat> Excuse me, well, I tell you what, when I start doing my footloose and fancy free cutting, I waste so much paper, it's terrible. I feel bad, but you know, it's not like I, I've planned it out and so this really makes me appreciate how we uh, close to my heart gives you the maximum usage out of the paper and cardstock. Okay so this is going to go to project one <clears throat> and I'll put my leftovers in my leftover pile and then we got Harbor and I love how easy this is, ten and a fourth. The only thing easier would be twelve by twelve, right? So here is ten and a fourth by ten and a fourth. And it goes with project three. Okay, so here's second, and it's going to be four and a fourth, a four and a fourth strip, and a three and a fourth or three and a quarter strip. And then a half inch strip. Okay, that is going to get cut down to nine and a quarter, nine and a fourth. And this goes to, okay, all of these, <clears throat> excuse me, all of these are two. 
Okay, so, <clears throat> pardon me, I'm sorry. Four and a fourth. Three and a fourth. Three and a fourth. And then this is going to be, so this was cut at three and a fourth. So now we're going to rotate it and cut it at four and a fourth. And three and a fourth times two. And these are all going to go with project two. Pardon me. Oy. I thought I was better off than this. <clears throat> okay, and then we've got a white strip here. So we want a quarter of an inch strip. And a three-eighths. So that's going to be right in between a quarter and a half. And those are both 12 inches long, so yay. And then we want a piece that's nine and a half. Nine and a half. Gosh, I love to look at my nails. That is so cool. I hadn't seen that before. Nine and a half. And this goes to project three. And then this, I need a two and a half. So what is this? So two and a half by two and a half. And that is for two, project two. And this is journaling for project two. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and cut the zip off of this one. And let's see. Okay, so the zip strip is going to be, I'm going to cut one inch off of this. And this is two, oopsies. have done a little bit better job of cutting. Okay, and now we need this other zip strip, which I haven't cut at all. And that is from the plaid paper, and so that's our background paper for I really like that plaid. Okay. 
And these are both going to be 12 inches, so we don't have to worry about cutting, cutting those. And then these three, no, these two, will go over in my scrap pile. Hopefully, I usually forget to cut something, so, but hopefully we've got it covered. And we start with project one. It says use the exclusive paint swash paper for the base page. So, <coughs> <clears throat> so this is what they're talking about when they say the uh, swash paint swash paper so and it, it says here make sure that the paper matches paper with the swatches that match those shown on this page so what they're saying is they want you to have make sure you've got the darker brown on the inside. Um, and then, so when you're doing page two, you want the darker brown on the inside too. So they just wanna make sure that you're not getting them mixed up and doing them like this or like this or whatever. So you want, you want them to be like that. Okay. So let me set that one aside. Whoops. Do you know, Texas is one of the worst in the nation. I should just turn my phone off. But it's one of the worst in the nation for robocalls. Because some of our departments, I think, are making money on them. Uh, like the Department of Motor Vehicle, for one thing. Uh, so anyway, thanks a lot. Okay, um, make sure to use the paper with the swatches that match. Those shown attach A and B. So, A and B are I'm looking for one B. Hmm. Okay, so here's one A and this is 1B. And then this is 2A, and this is going to be 2, I mean, not A, 2C and 2D. So A, B, C, D. So they want it to come over one and a half inches. And they show it just kind of like right in here. And then it's going to be three and an eighth inches down. So let me get my... <coughs> my layout mat. So this is going to be three and an eighth inches down and one and a quarter inches over. So 
one and a quarter, so right in here, and three and an eighth. So it's going to be like right in here. And then this is going to go on the bottom. And then they want you to use thin foam tape because you're going to raise it up above. So you don't want to put stuff, any tape over here. So we can totally do that. And fortunately, I bought more thin tape. So I actually have thin tape. Because otherwise, I'd be having to use thick tape. And it, it's really, it really is thick. It really does raise things up. glue on my new nails. I'll be picking at that today. So I'm going to do top to bottom. top to bottom here. Yeah, my lawn guys are here. Yay. Okay, so this is going to go, and it's going to be like, just about like that. Except that it needs, this is the wrong one. It was supposed to be this. Okay, well, I still can use that for whatever. You didn't catch that. That's a square and this is a rectangle. So this is for a three by four picture. thought something was funny there. It was like not taking up enough room. Okay, here we go. Try this all again. So I left plenty of space over here without any double stick foam. Okay, so this needs to be three and seven eighths inches up from the bottom and about like that over and so that's gonna go like this. And then this is just gonna fit right in there. Just like that. And then on the bottom here, we do a zip strip. And let's see, what else? So we've got attach one D and E. Who's E? Oh, this is E. Okay, so we've got all those pieces and then color the wood stickers with the darkest yellow blend marker as shown. So, okay, so here, here are the markers. We've got the coral blend, the gold yellow blend, and the true blue 
shades. So we're going to use the gold yellow blend marker. And let's see. So the gold, so this is the darker of the colors. And let's see, we're, keep the stickers on their backing sheet while coloring them. Okay. <clears throat> so we're gonna use, we're gonna use a thin leaf one, like maybe this and this. So let's see what that does. Well, it just makes the wood look like a darker wood. And I'm just going with the grain. So it's super easy to do. And I like the way it just gives such a nice golden brown look to the wood. And keeping it on the sticker sheet, on the backing sheet, keeps it pretty much from moving. So it makes it very simple. So that's a really that's a really good tip to leave it there and color color it in place. And going over the lines not a big deal, right? Okay, so we're going to do this one and then where's that little thin one? I think this one, yeah. Very nice. I don't think we've done this before. I mean, I have colored wood shapes, but this sticker is nice. Okay, very cool. So I'm going to put this over here, and it says keep the stickers on the sheet while coloring it, embellish with stickers and wood stickers and die cuts as shown. Um, attach a few of these pieces with 3D foam tape for added dimension and tuck the shortbread leaves die cut slightly behind 1A. So what we want to do is get our die cuts for project one. Okay, <clears throat> I had to get something to drink. Um, so, we need to punch out all of our die cuts. And for project one, <clears throat> even though it originally said project three, we changed that. <coughs> no, 
little amount of drinking is taking care of my throat. See, and depending on where you're from, like we have people in New Zealand and Australia and um, Canada that use the O U in color and favorite. So you can you have your choice here. Okay, let's get these leaves out. All different kinds of leaves, oak leaves and birch leaves and maple leaves. Leaves I have no idea. Some acorns. Can't have autumn without acorns. Oh gosh, what have I done here? Not paying attention to what I'm doing is what happened here. Okay, let me put him over here. Lots and lots of leaves. Okay, one more leaf to go. Okay. So, <clears throat> this is the title down here is my favorite color is Okay, let's see. We've got, let's go for simple. Here and here. I'm just going for what uh, makes sense at the moment. Let's see here. And we've got getting confused, so many leaves. No one of these is going to go here. <clears throat> we have one here and one over here. And then this guy is up here. So here, here. So once I kind of get these where they need to be, then we can put them in a, put them down according to height. I have no idea where this little guy goes. This is not my day. I keep on getting those gym calling. 
so I have have to make sure he's not in trouble um, with the car or something. Okay, so we've got... I'm just putting these down to try to make sure generally where everything goes. And this is going to go like up in here. And this is going to go under here. And then we've got Put the uh, wood things down last. Let's see. I think this goes under. Under here. Okay, I need to start sticking these down because it's getting out of control. Okay, so first is the title, just because that's easy to do. Okay, and then this is going to go <clears throat> and we need a little we need this leaf right here. It's going to go right there. And then we've got a small grouping of leaves that's going to go under here. And I need to use a few, just a little dimension. You don't have to if you don't want to. I mean, if you want to make everything flat and just layer it, that's okay too. It's just kind of up to you. And then right in the center, covering up all those stems, is a cute little thing that says warm hugs. And I think I'm going to pop this one up. foam dot, a bigger foam dot. And I'm going to use a little of my anti-static. So when I put the picture down, it doesn't stick to the picture. So there's our warm hugs. 
and a little, I think, that Let's see, I think I'm gonna use one of these acorns and just color the top. Okay. we go. Little hard to get off, but it's going to go right in here. With a tiny little acorn right next to it. So I think it's going to be one of these. And then we've got Okay, so we need to start sticking these guys down. <laughs> it's a lot of leaves to stack, for sure. Okay, one thing at a time, Dorothy. Let's just get the lower levels on that are going to be flat. So, there's that one, and this one's going to go. in the corner here. Then we've got right in here. Okay, let's just so let's put him there and then this nice, deep kind of terracotta color leaf is going to go in here. And this one is going to go where it kind of overlaps the picture some. <clears throat> and then we're going to go have one of these here. So it's going to come off this way. I wonder if this is supposed to, I don't think this one's supposed to be here. Okay, let me just take him off for a second. I think it's this smaller one is supposed to be up there. <clears throat> And then we've got don't want to hide my leaves because that'll happen for sure. Okay, this one's going to go like right in here, getting raised a little bit. And this one's going to get raised up a bit. And I'm leaving some open area around the outer edges, so if anything else needs to get tucked in, it can certainly get tucked in. 
But in the meantime, I've got four big dots of coverage. So that's going to go under there like that. And this one is going to go... hidden under here. Hmm. And I think I'm going to put him here. Some glue on there. And, okay, this one is going to go in here, too. <clears throat> hmm. There's so many. Here's, <clears throat> excuse me, one small leaf here. <clears throat> Ugh. So I think what I need to do is put this one down Ooh, really sticky, my goodness. Holy moly, that's some serious stick on there. Okay, let's... That's gonna come over like that. And uh, what was the other? This is quite a grouping. Okay, so we've got some of these things that go like a snuggle weather is going to go down here. And let's see, what do we want up here? How about happy fall, y'all? I kind of like that. Okay, just so we have a... Pretend the pictures are here.
Okay, so we've got acorns here and a leaf, a leaf, 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 and round thing. Two of those. <clears throat> and maybe one other little bitty. Let's put this little bitty guy here. Or not. See, I guess I could put the two here. They look like they're stacked like they should be two separate ones, really. But We'll go ahead and do it that way. Okay, so that's page one. And let's go on to page two. You know what, I did miss one in here. And it's this other one that we colored. And this is going to go right up under here. There we go. Okay. Let's go on to page two, the right side of project one. Okay, we've got so this is going to go and it's going to go three inches down. Get darn it. Okay, so three inches down and just about like that. And then we've got So since I put the uh, double stick foam on the back of this, then we'll do it the same for this one. And there's some more big clusters on this. I, and I love the big clusters. It's just kind of hard to see whether you've gotten everything on it. Okay, so that's going to go like that. And these are for three by threes.
and the four by six. Okay, so there's that, and then we've got Autumn, and Autumn is going to go down here. And that is going to go, let's put the little zip strip down first. I don't quite have both oars in the water today. Okay. Okay, so it says of 1H, which 1H is down along the bottom. Okay, well, let's just get this going here. So here's one here. That one's going to go up there. This one's going to go down here. These little polka dots just add all of the colors together. They just kind of combine all the colors and just kind of bring it all together with just a little bit a little bit of decoration, a little bit of design. I mean, it's just so little to do so much. So this is going to go down here. And there's going to be a little berry cluster from the sticker sheet that's going to go underneath it. So let me get some more dots. We'll put the little leaf, we'll pop it up on top of the berries a little bit. Okay, that goes down, and then <clears throat> a little bit of a leaf from the sticker sheet is going to go in here. And it's kind of hard to tell. Don't know what that is. Sort of. Not so sure. Not so sure. 
this is going to go under. And this is going to go in here. And then we've got a nice little mug of steaming hot, could be cider, could definitely be cider, or hot chocolate or whatever you like. And then we've got um, some berries going over here and we've got this pink leaf. that and I'm going to take the stickum is going to go over there this is going to go up here this is going to go over here And it's hard to tell what goes where. Now here's one. We didn't color it, and I think we should. I think I'll color this little acorn here. He's going to go right in there. Okay, so I'm just going to start sticking these down. And then we'll pop up the bigger leaf for some dimension. The rest of these things I'm just going to put down flat. Maybe I'll pop this guy up, make a liar out of myself within less than a minute's time. And then I'm going to put this guy that we just colored. It's going to get tucked under there.
and let's see. Here and here. And we've got a memories going over the top. And the leaf, the pink leaf. I'm leaving the top part open so it can overlap the pictures. The pictures can get tucked under. Memories is going right over that. And here's a nice little title, little subtitle. And I will <clears throat> take a little stick them off here, a little stick them off there, and raise the center. Together we make a family. He's getting tucked under. Okay, what are we missing? Putting that single right up there. Actually, the double was supposed to go there and the single was supposed to go on the other, but that's okay. I think, I think that this is it for this one. Let's see. Okay, here we go. This is project one in with all the gold and the red in my fingernails. It's like I, I didn't plan this, but I'll say I planned it. Anyway, I, I love this project and uh, I'll be doing project two and project three shortly. So stand by and um, if you wanna purchase this kit, it is available now at dorothy.closetomyheart.com and this is called the Pumpkin Spice Scrapbooking Kit um, and all the other accoutrements that go with it. All the, the wood things come with it but you can also buy extra plus you could get some of those cute little uh, actually they would look cute to sprinkle some of the little sequins, the autumn sequins on here and stick them down. Um, anyway I'm real happy with this, and uh, I'll be calling you soon, doing another one. Not calling you, but 
Take care. I'm shutting up now. Bye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.